Today we're at Mesa Verde National Park. I've been here before, but there are things I missed because they're closed and today I'm gonna check them out. Before we get started, my name is Laura and I'm on a mission to go to every national park in the continental US this year. Now is a great time to check that subscribe button because I don't want you to miss anything. There are beautiful fall colors here at Mesa Verde. I need to check out a cliff dwelling and last year the petroglyph trail was closed. So we need to get started. No idea that we would get fall colors here. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Our first stop is the Step House. This is the only cave dwelling that you can do a self-guided tour, which means you don't need tickets ahead of time. Last time I was here, this road was closed, so I'm really happy to be able to be here today and exploring it. Really cool facts about Step House. They did rebuild some of the stuff, like the roof, but the charred wood in the Kiva is actually original. So it's 600 to 1,000 years old. Also, I asked how people in this area got water. They said mostly in the spring from snow melt. The ranger was from Kentucky, so I asked why there's so many pretty fall colors, and he said that it's actually oak. Which makes sense, because it looks like it should be on someone's Thanksgiving table. So neat to be able to walk through and just really low key, which is awesome. I'm headed to the Norden School Trail. I know I can't pronounce it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is the one the ranger recommended. It's a full two mile loop, but half of the trail is paved so that makes it pretty easy
hike that was really neat there's a lot of different trails over here and it was amazing to see that there were people walking above that site number 16 and they had no idea it was down there how cool it's a really long drive to get over here but to be able to walk through one of the cliff dwellings without ticket be able to do these hikes totally worth it i'm gonna make some lunch and then start my way back i am gonna drive the other section of the road since i've been here before i'm only gonna stop at a few things i definitely want to check out cliff palace again but the spring hill treehouse spring treehouse is my destination Today for lunch, we're having a turkey sandwich, iced tea, and yogurt. And for dessert, while we drive back down the hill, animal crackers. I've made it to Spruce Treehouse, but now that I see how downhill the trail is, not sure about it. Um, this was the trail that was closed, and I was totally disappointed last year. Usually on this trail, you can actually go into Spruce Treehouse, but there's a rock slide right now, so it's not open. Okay, officially starting the trail. Now, last year when I was here, I did do the top section. Almost gotten caught in a storm on my way back, but this really is where all the best things are. And luckily I know that trail. So once I get up there, I know how easy it's gonna be. The problem is the climb out of this canyon is supposed to be really steep and rugged. I guess if it's too bad, we just turn around and come back. But this is 2.4 miles round trip. I have water, just ate lunch should be fun.
so happy I did this trail. I'm not even anywhere close to being to the petroglyphs, but it's just so cool to be walking down here. The sign said that these are ancient paths, and I'm sure that that's true. They probably just built the trail along the area where everyone used to walk. I mean, that's what it feels like. This is the biggest section of petroglyphs they found. Wow. You can see where some of it has fallen off. So apparently they don't know exactly what it means, but it's fun to see like the handprints, which is something that we still do. Like how many handprints do you do as a kid? It looks like a snake and squiggles and definitely animals. It's, it's fun to see the familiar shapes, even if you don't know what the whole picture means. The climb from here is supposed to be tough. I did hear that you can go the opposite direction and that might be easier. I saw other people coming down this way, but then you'd have to walk up those switchbacks. Hopefully this way up is easier, but it's a lot of steps. I did hear that there's some actual climbing at some point. We'll see how it goes. If it goes badly, we'll just go back the other way. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. Okay. Hand, foot. Lots of broken, lots of broken bones. Should I use my right hand?
That was so much fun. That trail is an adventure in itself. But this is fairly simple, so I'll see you at Spruce Treehouse. We can check the petroglyphs off the list. Can't recommend that trail enough. Also, Spruce Tree House is one of my favorite cliff dwellings here. I think Balcony House is great for a tour, but it's hard to see. Spruce Tree House is so visible, but the most famous cliff dwelling is still on the list. We have to stop by and see Cliff Palace before we leave. Apparently the road is actually closed to Cliff Palace, so this is as close as we're going to get today. A BLM campground. There are only 15 spots here and it looks like I just snagged one. The best part is it's free. The second best part other than it being free, that is Mesa Verde. I feel like it was a roller coaster of emotions because I thought all the spots were taken and I'm like should I double up with someone? How does this work? And then I found a spot. <sighs> How nice. Okay. so happy to have a spot here. Thought you might be interested in what's for dinner. I have nachos. Uh, cold cheese <laughs> and chips. The plan was to go to the Thai restaurant in town because last time I was here it was so good. But it's Sunday and it's not open. So I am going to officially go a full day without buying food. I think it's hard for me to revisit parks because I know what to expect. The past two days have completely changed my mind because going to Alamosa and Great Sand Dunes and knowing what to expect and then coming over here to Cortez, being able to know my way around town and around the park, it's just been amazing. I'm going to hang out here, obviously watch sunset, fill in my park log and probably do some editing and then sleep really well because hopefully it'll be very quiet. Although I've heard there's coyotes. After tonight, I'm headed north. I'll see you at Black Canyon of Gunnison. Now, if you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up.